Pat Boone, the legendary singer and actor, has recently made a confession that has tugged at the heartstrings of fans around the world. At the ripe age of 88, Boone has declared that his late wife, Shirley, was the love of his life. The couple was married for over 65 years, and Shirley's passing in 2019 has left a profound void in Boone's life. Boone, known for his smooth voice and boy-next-door charm, rose to fame in the 50s with hits like Love Letters in the Sand and April Love. He became a heartthrob for millions of fans and was one of the top-selling artists of his time. Despite his success, Boone always maintained a strong connection with his family and his faith. In addition to discussing his love for Shirley, Boone has also shared stories about his long friendship with Elvis Presley. Both singers were rising stars in the 50s, and their paths crossed frequently in Hollywood and on the music scene. Facts First presents She Was the Love of My Life. At 88, Pat Boone confesses out loud. A long-lasting love story. Pat Boone, the well-known pop singer of the 50s and 60s, shared a special bond with his wife, Shirley Boone, for over six decades. Despite Shirley's passing, Pat tries to carry on, pursuing his interests like golf and spending time with his daughters. The couple's love story began when they were teens, and their romance blossomed quickly. Pat was determined to marry Shirley, so he asked her father, Ted Foley, for his approval. Foley, a famous country singer, was moved by Pat's request, gave him his blessing, and asked him to take care of his daughter. The couple subsequently eloped in 1953 and settled in Teaneck, New Jersey, where they raised their four children. Throughout their marriage, Pat and Shirley supported each other's careers. Pat graduated cum laude from Columbia University while pursuing his music career, and Shirley was a philanthropist and author. Not only that, but Pat and Shirley also did their best to lift each other up spiritually and emotionally. While pursuing his singing career, Pat reached immense popularity and rivaled Elvis Presley on the charts. Meanwhile, Shirley focused on raising their children as they moved to Beverly Hills, where they lived for 50 years and watched their family grow with 16 grandchildren and 10 great-grandchildren. In an effort to keep the marriage exciting, the couple went on multiple honeymoons, even after being together for over six decades. Pat recently reflected on their relationship and shared that Shirley found the most joy in being a devoted mother, wife, and grandmother and bringing harmony to their home. Despite being a homemaker for the majority of her life, Shirley was also a successful recording artist, best-selling author, TV host, and humanitarian. While their marriage wasn't without flaws, Pat credited their commitment to each other and their faith as the foundation of their long-lasting relationship. In times of hardship, they held on to their promises to each other and to God. Grandpa to 16 Sadly, Pat Boone's wife, Shirley, passed away at age 84 in 2019 leaving her husband to live alone in their Beverly Hills mansion. Adjusting to life without his lifelong partner has been difficult, and Pat admits he still misses Shirley dearly. He now shares his home with his dog and his housekeeper and claims to be doing well. Shirley not only impacted her husband, but also instilled important life lessons in their children. Recognizing their interest in the entertainment industry, she advised them to listen to their Grammy-winning father, who emphasized the importance of being authentic making both the artist and the audience comfortable. Pat's daughter, Debbie, shared that her parents always insisted on treating everyone they met as if they were guests in their home, and her father's actions back up his words. At 88 years old, Pat still looks sharp and active, as evidenced by a recent social media photo of him playing golf in a snazzy outfit consisting of a yellow cardigan, black checkered shorts, black socks, white sneakers, and a white cap. Fans were thrilled to see the pop singer still looking great. Despite the family's loss, Pat has remained close to his children. In celebration of his 88th birthday, his daughters Debbie and Linda took him out for dinner, with Pat happily posing with his arms around his daughters in another adorable photo posted on Instagram. What matters most? As Pat Boone has reflected on his 66-year marriage to his late wife Shirley, he remains amazed at how far they came. Despite facing challenges along the way, such as the toll that having four children took on Shirley's body, their commitment never wavered. Boone has always understood the importance of marriage and family and has made it a priority in life. He also values staying active, both physically and mentally, as evidenced by his love for golf and dedication to maintaining a sharp appearance. Besties with Elvis In the 1950s, Pat Boone and Elvis Presley were two of the most popular musicians in America. 
They both had a love for African-American music, but they approached it in different ways. While Elvis embraced the raw, uninhabited energy of rock and roll, Boone sang in a more polished, mainstream style that was very palatable to white audiences. Their paths crossed for the first time at a sock hop in Cleveland, Ohio, in October 1955. The event was hosted by DJ Bill Randall, who had invited the then-up-and-coming Elvis to perform. Pat was in attendance and was impressed by Elvis's raw talent, although he thought he could stand to take a few pointers. In fact, Boone later described Elvis as being spiritually starved and in need of guidance. Despite their different styles, Pat Boone and Elvis Presley both dominated the music charts in the 50s. From 1955 to 59, Boone had an incredible 41 hit records on the pop charts, just one more than Elvis's 40. But despite the intense competition, the two musicians held a deep admiration for each other's work and soon developed a lasting friendship. Elvis's influence on Pat's music was significant. Boone recorded several songs that originally had been performed by Elvis, including Don't Be Cruel and Love Me Tender. Boone was often criticized for whitewashing Elvis's music, but he maintained he was simply presenting it in a way that was more palatable to a mainstream audience. When Elvis passed away in 1977, Pat Boone was devastated. He considered Elvis a close friend, and he said he felt like he'd lost a brother. Boone went on to pay tribute to Elvis in various ways, including recording a tribute album and writing a book about their friendship. Despite different approaches to music and intense competition on the charts, Pat and Elvis shared a deep respect for each other. A Legacy That Will Never Die Pat Boone is an iconic figure in American music. With a career spanning over six decades, he was a chart-topping artist in the 50s and 60s, and his music remains popular. But Boone's legacy extends far beyond his music. He was also a successful actor, with numerous appearances in film and television. In fact, he was one of the biggest box office draws of the 50s, starring in movies like April Love and State Fair. Throughout his career, Boone remained true to his conservative Christian values, even in the face of criticism from those who found his views outdated. He was a vocal supporter of the conservative movement and was rumored to have turned down roles in films that conflicted with his beliefs. Today, Pat is in his 80s and is still active in the music industry. He continues to perform live shows and has released several albums in recent years. Boone's music may have been criticized for being too polished and safe, but his enduring popularity is a testament to the timeless quality of his melodies and the warmth of his voice. In the end, Pat's legacy will be remembered not just for his music, but for his unwavering commitment to his values and his role as a cultural icon of his era. He was a pioneer of the rock and roll movement, a Hollywood star, and a trailblazer for conservative values in the entertainment industry. Love him or hate him, Pat Boone is a figure that will be remembered for generations. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Pat Boone enjoyed a lifelong friendship with Elvis Presley? Let us know in the comments section below.